In this quick lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the shading tab from the shading and 3D effects drop down here in the design center. So here we have some typical text that we want to apply an effect to. And we can see we have these tools create and edit effect. And we have these tools here and we click on preset effects and that will bring up the preset effects library. And as you can see, I can click on these and I'll see a preview over on the right hand side. So I click accept and I select a uh, effect that I'm interested in, like this one here, this marble effect. And I can now uh, click on Edit Effects, which allows me to edit the effects on screen using these nodes here. And as you can see, as I drag these up and down, I can change the effect itself. And I can just undo that if I want to, as you can see there. So that's how we affect those changes. And down here in the Heads Up display, we have more options. For example, if I click on, say, Drop Shadow here, I can adjust the Drop Shadow directly on screen like so. It's a very easy way of adjusting our effects. The other thing we can do is uh, edit the fill. So this is a texture at the moment, it's like a marble fill and I can move this around as you can see and I can spin it around and uh, reposition it to get just the look I'm looking for in this particular effect. Once I'm happy I can click on the object selector and my effect's ready to go. Other things I can do is to change the colour but to do that I'll change it to a different preset such as this gold here so I can make it very clear what I'm talking about. I can change the, the actual colour of this effect. So I can bring up the uniform colour editor here and say I click on red, I click apply and you can see now that that gold effect is now a red effect and again I could change it to say blue like so. I can use the edit effects to change the look of this effect and as you can see by combining colour and the edit effects I can get all sorts of different looks. Now I'll try a, um, a gradient fill. So I'll just uh, select this colourful fill here and you can see that this is a like a colour fill effect. And I can click on the gradient tool here and it brings up the gradient editor and I can fiddle with these uh, nodes here to change the actual look. I can change the type of the uh, gradient fill and I can select different gradient fills from the drop down selector here or from these uh, presets. And again I can go to edit effects and or edit fill and I can then change the position of this fill like so. And I can completely change the way this effect looks. I can even skew the fill like so and fiddle around with it uh, for an infinite range of effects. Another one is texture. So I'll just change this to something a little bit more relevant. Uh, rust will do. And as you can see there's all these rust uh, texture effects. So this one's fine. Click accept and you can see my uh, text or my texture uh, rust texture effect here and again I can edit the fill like I did with the marble just before I can move this around and you can see as I move it it completely changes the look of this uh, of this effect now I can change it to like a concrete look for example and you can see that it looks again completely different and I can scroll down and select from the, uh, the large range of textures that come with the program click accept here and I can make it look like cracked uh, concrete and so on and so forth. I could give it a totally different look like these flowers for example and again I can edit this fill and move this around just to get the uh, desired effect that I'm looking for. So there's an, literally an infinite number of effects you can create and all I'm doing is just using the presets at this stage. Uh, later on I'll show you some more things that uh, you can select from. Um, from the lighting and the uh, the other tabs but they'll be in different lessons. So here we've got this very bright chrome effect. Now let's say we want to apply this to some other text. So we simply uh, check these options here and we uh, click copy. We go to page 2 where I've got another piece of text here like so and you simply click paste and the effect I had on the other text or object, doesn't really matter if it's text or object, is now applied uh, to this text. So it's very easy to copy your effects over and you can also access all these effects from this uh, side uh, fly out here as well. Exactly the same thing. And you can choose from any of these effects like so. And as I mentioned before you've got all these other tools and features so you can really go uh, quite extensively and make such a huge range of different um, effects for your, uh, for your artwork. So that's the end of this lesson and thanks for your time.